Hello fellow beings of Middle Earth and welcome to the second episode of the Isengard campaign. I'm really looking forward to this episode. I'm actually just recording this episode almost right after the first one. Um, I stood up early and just want to record this. Episode 1 is not even up for me yet. Um, oh wow, I think your arrow towers are actually getting some. Uh, it will be fine, I think. Let's just move these guys a bit. We are now um, attacking um, Alberg, and their garrison consists mainly of cavalry. They got some farmhand pikemen, but that's really it. Wow, these arrow towers are actually doing quite uh, alright. Um, but we're going to send our John Landing uh, pikemen up, and we are going to use uh, Saruman as well, and Ugluck. And we're just going to try to bring down most of their cab with these units. They don't really have anything to stop us. Um, like, their cab won't really work in this kind of settlement. Um, I'm really looking forward to see how you guys react to this campaign. I think it's very interesting. Definitely. I'm still uh, having a call though, so you must excuse my voice. It will be a bit weird. I'm also thinking about um, uploading a Gundabad campaign. I haven't decided yet, so I want your um, opinions on it. These arrow towers are certainly doing a number of us, though. We're going to send in our um, pikemen first, definitely. They won't really be able to do much. And we could also send in uh, Ugluck, I suppose. These guys can go back. Uh, Uruk Reavers. We could set in these Spear Guard as well. Or oh, I actually think these units will be enough. They have some Erling Militia though. Actually, we will need these guys. Let's just um, bring them all in. Let's just send in Saruman as well. Let's make them in fighting. We'll take a look at these abilities, what they do after this battle. Let's try to remember that. Let's get Saruman over here and take on the Rohan Riders. Saruman's bodyguard should perform pretty well because he's effective against armor. And most of these are actually they don't have lots of armor. But the bodyguard of Rohan, for example, they will do very well against them. These guys. We should probably send in a few more units. Let's bring this depleted unit over here. Let's try to get Saruman over here. It's a big a bit of a choky battle, but we're slaying them so far. And the Ben God will support us as well. I'll just bring them right through. These uh, horse archers are actually positioned quite well. Usually the AI is not able to do that, but we're kind of clogged up here. So they're actually doing some numbers on us. The English are now falling very swiftly to the God of the Hand. The God of the Hand has definitely proven to be a very good unit. I've also done 1v1s with them against a the Noldorian God, and they actually were able to win, so... If used correctly, uh, they can be very devastating. Yeah, it looks like they have some kind of issues here now. Vanguard, let's just bring them out of flank. Oh, look, he's taking a few hits, so... Saruman is all by himself, blooded up. Uh, let's bring these guys over here. The horse artist, which is, which is the real pain here. Okay, you guys go out. Yeah, they're now completely surrounded. I 
Using Berserkers against Cavalry is so essential. They're so overpowered against them. Okay, let's bring uh, Saruman. Let's take out the horse archers here. It's a nice town, actually. I like this one. But after we've taken this, it means we'll actually border Gondor, so we'll have to be a bit careful. I want to finish off Rohan, though. That's the goal, anyways. At the moment. I can deal with these guys. Uh, these guys can actually go here as well. Horse archers are actually quite quite OP in the hands of the AI. You see, they're just able to keep firing at us even though they're in melee. Now we'll take off over the walls though. These arrow towers are actually uh, buffed in the, in this version, and that explains why they were doing so well. I remember it now actually. Okay, the farmhand. Actually, these guys could be used quite efficiently over here. Let's send in these pikes instead. I guess Ugly can go around and flank. Let's get in some more units now as well. You guys can go up here. Let's get in some spearmen here and some raiders over here. And you start fighting at the farmhands. You guys just hold them here for now. Let's see if Salomon can get a nice angle here. Uh, he's getting arcing shots. They should still do pretty well. Considering it's 12 in missile, actually we should flank around with him as well. The farmhands are so screwed now. Let's just speed this up a little bit. Let's walk these guys through. We will get some massive kills. <laughs> these guys are still firing even in melee, it's so stupid. I don't want to kill Uglek though, he's, he's a bit weak now actually. So let's get Saruman over there and start firing actually. These guys can... I think they can supply over here. These guys can flank. The spearmen will just run through. They only have their their bodyguard left. Now the pikes have joined the game and the archers are going down very quickly. Oh wow. Okay, I think we should just... Um, let's see, he's ugly, he's blown up. I want to be a bit careful. Now that we actually have this going very well, let's be careful. This will bring some nice income to us, definitely. These as well, go for Rohan bodyguard. Oh jeez. This is not good. Definitely need the Saruman in here actually. Let him take the front line. Oh look, it's safe right here, but it's a Rohan bodyguard and they're not that bad. The Fireman Pikeman should fall pretty quickly though. Sorry, just, uh, let's bring these guys over here. We need to push our way through now. Uh, Saruman, just push your way through as well. That should be sufficient. The pikemen are falling pretty quickly now. You guys are going to go for town square. Uh, this is nice actually. Let's show these guys through, try to help out uh, the bodyguards. Or just try to overwhelm the farm vampire men in general. We might take some losses, but it's, it's going to be worth it. The uh, bodyguards are going down now though. Saruman in. 
the very Saruman and Ugluck fighting back to back. Oh wow, but Saruman is kind of stunned up now. Let's rather lose Ugluck than Saruman, of course. Okay, now we definitely need to bring these guys over here. We're just going to run straight through them. Now you guys are going to start attacking these guys. As well, just to run through. I'm a bit reckless with my channels now. <laughs> In the last episode too, was really just taking a lot of risky maneuvers. Okay, let's just bring down this lone Rohan rider, I suppose. Saruman is safe now, it looks like. Yeah, I think we'll be fine, actually. Except for these guys and these guys. Just attack these guys now. Alright, we'll just let it go from here. They have so much HP, these generals, so let's just take a quick look. Yeah, they have the same defense as uh, Saruman's bodyguard, actually. They're a really good bodyguard. If you're playing us around, definitely use them to their full potential. There the general goes. And Halberg is ours. 238 loss, 661 killed. That's nice. This might be Frodo in Ithilien or in Imladris. Yeah, it's in Imladris because Gandalf is grey. Alright, so the plan now is to go straight for Onodrath. We might want Ugluck to light up a few towers though, in case Gondor decides to be aggressive. That's uh, sacked supplement, and it's bringing 1,000 per turn. That's excellent. Let's get a shrine up and going straight away. Uh, Ugluck, you're just going to build towers. Objective complete. Come on. Objective complete. Okay, this is nice. Um, so I actually renamed a few of the conquered settlements. Uh, I searched up a black speech uh, a translator, I thought that would be interesting. So, Gijaku Dob means bloodshed. Uh, Uglok Kala means um, fortress or castle of Uglak. Uh, Lurts Utot means um, town of uh, Lurts. Because Lurts captured this one, Uglak captured this one. And uh, Edras just means Fa Hajat, which means uh, Great Hall. <laughs> it's just some a few small niche things which I just find quite cool okay now we definitely need to this army is definitely not strong enough can we just leave this guy alone yeah we can actually and if we bring down these units as well let's see oh yeah we want to bring Salmon as well uh, they can go pretty far. If we bring these guys over here. Actually, we can wait for the next turn. Or No, these guys can already move. Okay, this is nice. Uh, but is this army strong enough, though? We are getting more units, though. Let's see. We were recruiting a lot, weren't we? Yeah. Um, but I see no reason to not be aggressive now. Let's just bring out all of these guys. And yeah, there's not really much they can do now anyways, I think. Okay, these guys can just keep going over here. We'll link them up with Saruman and we will go for Onodrath. I like we'll build a few more towers just to make sure. 
and we should start. Yeah, we're making uh, nice money once again. We should start building more stuff now. And we definitely actually want to send alerts up there. Can we do that? Oh yeah, that was not. No, we can't. We need to keep him there. Probably for a bit longer as well. I think our Glock could go up there afterwards, I suppose. Um, yeah, right. You can't move. Alright, let's just end the turn then. We have very good sight now, so that's very... That's nice. Last ride of the Rahirim. I actually believe that another general spawned for Rohan now, up uh, over here, because we've taken so many settlements. It might mean they don't have very much settlements left. Let's build one here. Let's build one here as well. And you just go over here. Uh, in that case, we would definitely need uh, more than the army we have now. I'm going to try to look for that army, but we're going to take advantage of that Rohan has no settlements here just yet. Oh, they have um, a settlement over here and they have all the drive, but they don't have to take it and win. We're just going to rush them now. Alright, uh, let's build a temple of Melkor, definitely. We need that now. Um, and we're still making lots of money. Let's see, are we getting some units? Yeah, we are. I'm kind of curious of this area. I think we should get a spy somewhere if we can. Like these guys, they should probably just follow after Saruman actually. Uh, we can get recruit a spy here. Can we recruit it any closer? We can't. Alright, I think we should actually get a spy. It will be very useful now. We need to be wary of... Um, of... Um, and the wife. Uh, these guys should just guard here for now. We just soon start taking these settlements as well before Gondor comes in. I don't want to start war on Gondor just yet. I want to take out Lorien and Casadun first. That's going to bring us a lot of money. This arm is, yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, it depends though if they have some last stack army over here. Okay, that's it for this turn as well. It's only the 15th turn. Oh, jeez. They're coming for... Um, they're definitely coming for... Um, the new settlement we just took, Alberg. <laughs> we might want to take him out with Saruman. Um, let's see. These guys are getting over here. Actually, over here. It's only one unit. Uh, I guess we can just send Uglock inside here. And actually, we can just place him on the bridge. These guys can easily handle the, that unit. North Ithilien lost. That's very good news for us. That means the mother is doing well. And that's, what, that's definitely what we need. Okay, let's. I don't see anyone. This might be risky though, but we're going to go over it. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. We'll take down the Prince and Eomer. If we succeed. Gorgash is not far behind. Uh, Alright. Did we get a spy now? Um, yeah, we did. Let's send that whole ugly picture. Let's uh, have him over here. Alright, I think we should just get more units. Um, but we should also focus on getting some of these buildings up. I think we should go for a shrine here. We need uh, this to go up a bit faster. Or should we... We should go... We should save up for a temple over here. It's a castle and it will be able to recruit a lot of units. It's only 20%. We need um, 33, okay.
Yeah, but these uh, these shrines are very useful. We should probably attack this army. Yeah, I'm actually going to attack that. Uh, what about here? Yeah, we should go for a sh temple here. I think we should just uh, save for a few more temples. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight this battle off camera though. And I will be right back. And there we go. It was a slaughter. We lost no arcs actually. Uh, let's bring these guys. I guess just back here. And that was it for this turn, wasn't it? Yeah, let's finish the turn. And yes, they didn't bring that last um, stand stack army. That's really good. We'll be able to take out Onodrath, and we're just going to rush for the last settlement. Alright, Lugu. Brawler's Pit, we're going to go for that. Montekun the Bad Besiege, wow. That's interesting. Can I help, my lord? Yes. Let's just find what? our last settlement. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Alright, let's send the spy over here now. Hurry up. Oh wow. This way. No one has taken Bregnas, that's very good actually. That's excellent. Uh, I guess we should send... We can recruit Orc Fighters. Oh, that's probably from the... Brawler Spit, yeah. That's a new unit I haven't seen before. Interesting. It looks like a very shitty unit though. Um, okay. Let's get the Temple of Melkor. And Kogash. Get down to Saruman. Ugluck, I suppose you could just join Saruman for this attack actually. And we could take them down right now. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Um, I should get a temple as well. Definitely need to use this as a buffer against Gondor. And the culture is not doing too badly, though. 22%. It's still a while, though, and it's taking so long. We definitely need to send out more troops. Let's send a pretty large stack, actually. Let's send all of these guys. We're still making money. I suppose we could bring these guys as well. This music is so fucking creepy, actually. Uh, let's still, yeah, a few more turns. I guess we could get the leather worker. We definitely want more armor. On the other hand, we want these mines, but we're just making, we're just making these um, shrines, anyways. Yeah, let's go for the shrines instead. The shrines is a very good building because it also offers um, culture. Okay, King Eomer, the horseman. Here are the horse archers, oh, two units of them. We have a whole new army now though, so it should be fine. But we probably want to take a few casualties. Um, I guess we should just, yeah, we're just going to rush them. I just want this quickly over and I want the money for another wrath. So I will see you on the battle map. All right, we're here. Let's just bring down their gates. We're going to use our archers very efficiently on this map. We're going to place them like over here somewhere, I suppose. Uh, let's bring these guys like right here. And Saruman will stand behind and just take care of the cavalry if they decide to send something over. It looks like they're just going to stand in the town center for now, but I suppose they will come closer when we bring down the gate. I guess um, this is a very cavalry focused. Let's bring some pikemen over here. Let's also have Ugluck in reserve. And we could definitely use some of these guys. And I guess these guys and these guys. I'm pretty certain they will go for a bait once we take down their 
um, gate. And if they do not, we will probably be able to surround them in the town center <laughs> with pikes. So no matter what happens, it's going to be a nice result, I'm certain. Let's surround the pikes uh, inside. Uh, where are our pikes? They're here. Let's bring them in. You guys can take over this pathway. Yeah, it looks like they're actually just going to stand inside the town center. I suppose we should send our archers over here instead. Yeah, they're just going to stand there. That's so stupid. Or are they? Oh, the hero archers are now coming. Uh, Jesus. Okay, uh, you gotta run, dude. These horse archers are really going to put a number on our pikes, definitely. We need to run them very quickly. It looks like they're just targeting this unit, though. Or now they're starting to target these guys. Alright, send them all in. Oh, wow. They're going to shred this unit, actually. They have no armor at all. And, of course, they're pikes. Let's send in Saruman quickly. But once we start getting into melee, it's going to be the other way around. Just look at how many good shots they're getting. Half the unit is evaporated. This was very poorly managed, I must admit. Never underestimate the power of uh, pikes inside the settlement. Now take down your pikes and start harassing these guys. That's what I was coming in. Let's bring you guys around. Saruman, you will definitely use your uh, um, crossbow. You guys as well, let's bring in you guys. Let's just silence them for a little bit. But yeah, they're definitely starting to lose out now. It's becoming a bit harder for them now. Let's bring in Uglock over here. And why not send in some more spearmen here as well. Oh, scouts, they're a perfect meal for Uglock. Saruman is just getting some nice shots off, it looks like. These guys should now start firing as well. Uglock, go for these scouts. Or actually just hold... Yeah, it will be fine actually, it's just scouts. You guys target uh, bodyguards. You as well. Saruman is already targeting them. It should be meet in not too long. You guys are getting into there. I suppose you guys uh, could just join in as well. Why not? Spring the fight to them. You guys are just going to run straight through and we're going to attack. Oh, ugly. Oh, Jesus. You guys target the uh, Aaron Marisha. Get some more of these guys dropped. Yeah, Uglock definitely needs some more help on this side. Don't know where exactly where Uglock is himself. They're doing some very good, uh, a very good job though. These guys are starting to drop very heavily now. Uh, actually, these guys could flank. Not that it's a really good flanking unit, but I think it will work. Oh Jesus, Uglock is in the front. This is sketchy. I'm thinking about. Perhaps, yeah, let's run them a bit, um, he's now not in the front anymore, let's bring it like this actually. Okay, you need to fight now, but Uglock, I think he's a bit more in the back now, yeah, he's in the middle at least, that's not too bad. You guys run through, where is our pikes now, here, they're still doing a very good job. You guys are just going to run straight through. You guys are going here. You guys take down your pikes, definitely. Most of you guys just target this uh, 
He's raw hand bodyguards. 51. That's one hell of a bodyguard. I'd like to use Europe Tide, which I completely forgot to check once again. They're not taking down these uh, Rohan bodyguards. Excellent. Now you don't want to run any further. Just hold the enemy there. You guys want to go over here. And Prince Airman is fallen. That's that's wonderful. Let's get these guys through. You guys target these guys. Saruman just come by himself. You guys can stop firing now actually. It's probably more friendly fire now. Just bring down the last of these guys. Uh, Saruman over here. This is a nice uh, situation definitely. I lost a few percent though. Where is Saruman though? Yeah, he's going through now, that's excellent. We're just going to stand here and shoot crossbows straight into the cavalry, that would be... Okay, never mind. Just take them in melee. Just run straight through. You guys come in here. And the situation is definitely ours now. It would be so nice to actually defeat Rohan so that they can't use their last stack army. Where's Eomer? He's here fighting all alone. Bravely though, very brave. And there he goes, Elmer the Horseman. Two hundred thirty-one loss, eight hundred thirty kill. Yeah, excellent. I like this. Now they only have this one settlement left, and it's about time that we start to um, to go for Lorien and such. If Lauren keeps us, if they don't want to attack us, I'm fine with that actually. We can go and start conquering in the west as well. But uh, we, I definitely want to go for Casa Duel. It's so wealthy. Sack the settlement. Falls of our streets. Oh, we actually destroyed Rohan. Jesus. Rohan is gone. They died of genocide. That's so fucking amazing. Alright, now Rohan is out of the picture. Now it's just time to... Yeah, we're sending this army up here and we'll be able to conquer these places. And this whole army can actually move around. So I suppose why not just... You build a few towers. Okay, this is very good. Is it time to go for this? Not with this army though. Um, it's not very good for that certain purpose. We don't want our luck stuck in this uh, settlement though. Uh, can Saruman move more? No. Alright, let's just wait for... Yeah, we definitely want some more towers built. Or should we go for Bregnas? Not really sure. Nobody has taken this, uh, these uh, places yet. I think you should reroute actually. Now we just have rebel expansion uh, between Lauren and us, that's really nice. Let's just end the turn. 
So we have like, they can't really attack us from this place. But we definitely do want to expand over there quickly. It's only turn 16. Barracks of Can, this is really random. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, uh, Gorgash, full Saruman. We go back. Anduin Whale and Realm of Lothlorien. That could certainly cause some problems. Let's find the next settlement. It's, should, yeah, it's over here. Rockburg. I just want a few more towers built first. Start going north. We will follow. We're building shit here. Yeah, we're making lots of money now. And with these guys. But we have this stupid general over here. We don't really have a general to lead these guys either. We can't get one for another turn. Actually, let's go for Lorien. Let's just bring them down. But we will... When we can start recruiting units other places, it will be a lot easier. Uh, here we could build some uh, roads, actually. It's not going to be a very huge income boost, but troops can move a lot faster, and we definitely need it, that at this point. Building shrine here. Okay, we'll have to save some money for next turns now. You will take a look on out for Lorien. Like we could of course go for Gondor now as well, but they are actually going to be quite powerful. Uh, but it's definitely a thought. But I think we should go for Lorien and Casadum, and then we head out for um, uh, Gondor. Brolisol? Okay, I guess we can't say no to that. It's probably a nice guild. It is... Yeah, it gives experience bonus and such. Okay, all the money went over there, but it's fine. We can soon get some Berserkers, actually. We can get it next turn. You guys heading up for Rockburg. Saruman, just head up here. Tirith Anduin. They have a pretty strong garrison, though. Let's take a look up here. Lauren holds this area, yeah. Golgash, you will follow Saruman. We should link these two armies up. I know a dry can is over here as well. Let's take a look out for that if Lauren holds that place. Yeah, we need more money. And um, these places wouldn't be a bad. We, we really need to expand westwards as well. Uh, how much culture do you have now? 25? Okay. And it's really just a waiting game. Let's end the turn. So we have managed to kill off Rohan within 16 turns. That, that is nice. Now these settlements aren't very, they aren't properly built up. Oh wow, Jesus, this army, it's really powerful. We'll have to run away. I hope we don't have to face it. It's the last stack army, Jesus. Pull back. We must pull back. Oh we no. We're actually really screwed over here now. Jesus. I think actually we might want to auto resolve this and just let Saruman get out of it because <laughs> I doubt we could take down this army with what we have here. Uh, on the other hand, they don't really have a green bolt. His hell swords. We're taking the battle dam, but we definitely just going to line up our here. It's really our only hope. The whole campaign 
stands on the brink of this battle now. And they are the aggressors, they're supposed to attack us of course. We're just going to have to stand over here and just pray. They should attack soon though. Let's bring Salomon right here, getting a bit better angle. You guys definitely want to be in god mode. So, what do you want to? Alright, we want to wait before they're a bit closer. But we definitely want to use all of our missiles with this unit, because we're going to use them as spearmen afterwards. It's going to be a very close battle, guys. I just I, I think we could do this. Okay, yeah, let's uh, spend off all of our missiles now. Saruman will be very important in this battle, no doubt. It's raining and that's going to cause uh, our archers to be a bit worse than we hope for. Let's bring down most of their arches though. Not really, or actually, we should rather target their self swords. And these guys are, of course, these are good uh, swordsmen. The, their arches suck anyways. You hit the self swords. Hit the swordman. You hit the self swords as well, perhaps. Actually, they are red, and you hit the. the are red as well. Of course, we can use the Saruman in melee soon, and that is going to be very important. Let's take a look at the Orthanx centers in action. Looks like they're firing pretty slowly. Oh, there we go. Very arcing shots, that's not really what you want. But the cell swords are getting targeted, that's nice. You guys target the other arches perhaps. Or you go for these guys and you guys go for those. So far it's quite even actually. We're ahead of them. But getting blank, po blank point crossbow bolts into these um, they're arching into these guys are very important. Read to mark skirmishes. Oh wow. Oh, we might need these guys in the front line actually instead. I'm going to send them over there instead. Same with these guys. You guys hit these skirmishers, they're actually not a very bad unit. You guys go for the archers instead. Now we should use the words of Saruman, try to slow these guys a bit down. You hit the cell swords, you hit the cell swords, you hit the swordsman. We're just getting arcing shots with the Salman. But they are dropping though. Perhaps arcing shots would be better against units that's kind of clumped up. These guys are doing fine. The pikes are also doing quite well. The beast slayers are soon out of ammo and then they can support this main line. Because these spearmen were evaporated actually. But this battle is definitely doable, it's just very hard. And we're getting nice crossbows into these guys. Percentage is still very even. And these guys going into the pikes is very good as well. You should use your ammo very rapidly now.
They're soon to be tossed into melee now. These guys are doing very fine though. It's very nice. You guys can see. Yeah, okay, let's bring you to the front line. Not really getting the shots on the sensors as I want. Let's go for the. We need to drop those down. Definitely can't afford. Oh, yeah. These guys are quite uh, afraid now. Yeah, that's very good. You guys go into guard mode. Uh, if they decide to flank around here, it's over. Now you start hitting the sound swords again. The pipes are so good. They just, just look at these guys. They're just not coming anyway. But it's too even now. Still have Saruman though. That's gonna count for something, of course. It's arcing shots, let's see how it works. Didn't see the shots, that's too bad. Can of course use all of these um, arches in melee as well, but so can they. We need to spend uh, among these guys. This is a large chunk. So any unit we can get. Let's see. These guys we should get a point blank shot into. Let's hope that. These guys are now finished. Let's bring them behind here. Saruman will support here when it's necessary. The cavalry is just going around, not doing much. These guys are finally getting some nice shots now. Saruman. Uh, oh, there are some routing. That's nice. That's very nice. Keep going for the cell swords. You guys are getting nice shots now, definitely. Very good, very good. So if you are in a very tight position, it's always good to just use the corner of the map. It's like your best hope, most likely. Okay. Actually, yeah, this is a thin line. Very thin line. But these guys are dropping very fast, and Saruman will soon be able to use in melee. But this chunk is just so much. Actually, we might want to send these guys like right here uh, instead. And now Salomon is almost out of ammo. This crossbow unit has a lot of shots, though. It's really, it's really nice. The yeah, red heavy swordsman though, they're pretty good. Now we are in guard mode. Salmon is probably chewing off his last shots. Yeah, he's now in melee. Alright, he will be needed uh, over here, I think. Let's just have him here for now. Let's wait as long as possible to use him. Oh, skirmishes are coming in around. That's not good at all. Uh, we definitely need to uh, send Salman over here now. Come on, go for them. These guys are falling apart now. These guys. <laughs> One left. Oh, uh, we're behind now. This is scary. Go for these guys now. There we go. Slaughtering. These guys are struggling now though. Okay. 
This is going really badly now, guys. Saruman is even losing men quite quickly. It might be because these guys are actually unpiercing. Yeah, they are. That's really bad. Go for the cell swords. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Saruman is over here. Jesus, this is going to go very badly. But there's still hope, guys. There's still hope. These guys are fighting very bravely. Uh, these guys need to go into melee soon, I think. It would actually be nice to go for this kind of bunch with these crossbows. They're getting a nice, nice wallet. Oh, they're going for the south subs. If we could just have made their general go into melee, it would be much easier. Let's see how these guys are in melee. They're effective against armor though, but they have very poor stats. At least Saruman is safe for now. He will soon be surrounded by heavy air red footmen. Okay, you guys just point blank shot into these cavalry. Yeah, it's definitely looking grim now. Actually, you can start hitting the back of these guys. Come on, please, dudes. There we go. The pikes should do fine even though they're surrounded, kind of, I think. Not now, though. When they start going in. And Saruman is now in the line. <laughs> All this cavalry will be able to swarm in. These guys are still getting some shots off at least. Oh, just look at that. That's amazing. Read the mark. Skirmishes have been a very efficient unit against Saruman's bodyguard. Right, it's all up to this now. Just gonna let the timer go. Our army is tiring. So I don't it's getting butchered. Only hope is for these sound swords and they're just standing over there. Let's see what will happen now. Saruman is probably going down. That means I'll have to restart the campaign. Actually, it worked out. Let's see. Saruman is the only one left. Jesus. Yeah, we're at least making money now. That was some real battle. But that's that's a kind of a smart way to make your general survive it. Just exit the battle right there. He really fought well though. Uh, now we'll have to. Yeah, this army will uh, probably. Let's send Salman up to these guys. We could probably just wait here. I, I'm really glad Salman survived there. I, I thought it was over. 
That was a rather unfortunate uh, battle, but we barely, we just grasped our way out of it. Okay, let's, let's get some berserkers, but otherwise, let's get these temples now. We're building one here. We have one here already. And it will not be long. Yeah, still a while. Alberg, let's get a temple here. We definitely need it here. On the Wrath of Thoreau as well. Let's get it. It will not... Yeah, we'll, we'll get some money now at least. And it was nice to defeat that army, but I was hoping Lorien would meet into them before we did. So that was unfortunate. Uh, you guys... We can probably just take that place. But that's going to make us part of these guys. And they hold Edvai Khan. Yeah, we're definitely not ready for these guys just yet. Um, I think we're going to let Lauren take these settlements and then we will take it from them right afterwards. But we will be stationed with troops, definitely. Let's end the turn right there. But there we met our first defeat. And uh, <laughs> we were really lucky right there that Saruman grasped his way out of it. <sighs> Jesus. This, this force though. Uh, Alright, we can definitely not take down these guys by ourselves. Or could we? <laughs> I'm going to give it a try, guys. It's definitely doable, actually. It might. Or it might not. I do want to retreat, but I think it's better to just retreat in-game. And that way we won't actually lose any troops. So... Um, I will see you on the battlefield. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. This is a strategy we should have applied the first time. And I, I don't know why I didn't think about it. But yeah, we're going to be able to get off the battlefield. That's going to be it. So I guess that was kind of nice actually that it happened so we could show off this strategy. And now I don't think they will be able to attack us. Because we just routed. So you actually don't want to route the first time, you want to route... Um, yeah, you do actually want to just fight the battle when they first attack you and then you just route. We must pull back. And he actually even moved the way I wanted him to move. This was quite useful actually. Alright, um... Let's just have a look. They're probably not going to go for Thirith Andu, it's probably too much people. So I guess we could just... Like, we could basically just go straight for Lauren, just ignore these rebel settlements actually. Like, why not? I suppose that isn't too bad of an idea. Yeah, let's go up here. How far? You can go really far. Okay, 4000. But we're probably building stuff down here, aren't we? Oh, they're coming now. Yeah, we might just want to go for these guys first. It really looks like they're bringing the battle to us. I was thinking about going for these guys, but after this incident happened, we really took a blow. Um, yeah, we do need more, uh, we do need more armies, of course. Actually, this will be faster. But I think it's time to start expanding over here as well. Our economy is just not ready yet. And we can't recruit everywhere, we're restricted to only Isengard. That's a problem. Yeah, we'll be able to counter him at least. But I think we should go for him. We don't want Condor to start chewing off our lands. Grimball will be... He won't be that hard to uh, take down once we have a proper army. 
We only have these guys here. Alright, let's just end the turn. This has been a really weird episode. But, a cool nonetheless. Gondor is now, let's see what they will do now. Trade rights, I'm fine. And they're still going to attack us, probably. So, we'll have to go for them. Oh, actually we got a mission success. He will be able to get her in time, which is nice. And these guys won't be able to take us. Oglukala. Not too long, is it? 30. Yeah, we want to build this slave quarters now. We do want to be able to have free upkeep here as well. We're just going to go straight for it. And we still have a lot of money. We're actually making loads of money now. And how long is it here? Not too long. We do have the fort though. But it will give us or allow us to recruit more. We're building this over here. Yes. We're just going to take a watch on this place. Just make sure Lorien doesn't bother us too soon. This is a town anyways. I don't think we're going to go for the temple just yet over there. It's time to get those mines though. Yeah, we'll actually have money, enough money in two turns. But we could build something else in the meantime. Jack it up. How much do we have? 25 and what could we recruit? Urukai Raiders, alright we're going to go for we're going to build um, start building stuff here and make sure we can recruit here oh Jesus, these guys are coming there as well yeah I don't think we're going to go for Lorien now guys <laughs> I think we're going to start expanding here and we're going to keep Gondor at bay as well. We might want to attack Gondor. But I i don't really want them to. But they started. They brought their army up here. I really want to focus on the economy now. But I'm quite certainly going to attack Alberg. They're not actually doing. Let's see what they will do. Yes, that army is bugging off, that's nice. Let's see, their army went back, okay, that's good. Um, yeah, it still just stands like this, that's good. But, oh, they actually fucked up, that's so nice. And we were just saving money now, weren't we? Yeah. We're going to, we're earning a lot of money now though. This is good. Um you guys. Yeah, we'll be able to build those mines next turn anyways. Uh, let's go for some leather tanners all around actually. It's a nice and we actually need some roads here. It won't give a lot of money but we need it for the mobility. Get mines there. We'll still have enough for the mines next turn. And if we can, we can actually build some leather tanners somewhere else as well. Yeah, we can't actually. Let's go, how much will this give us? That's 70 more per turn. And will it give anything else? Yeah, it will give some more um, population growth. We're actually going to go for that building. I will barely have enough for the mines, won't we? It was actually 8,500. Alright, we'll have to wait with this one. Saruman. Uh, I'm actually thinking about sending these guys over here. You guys are probably going to go over here now, actually. We're going to focus a bit on the 
Oh, jeez. We want to focus a bit on the west front now, I think. Because there's a lot of just rebel settlements that we could take uh, very easily and for free. And I think that's actually better than starting going for lore in now. Making more enemies. We need a more stable western border. Because Isengard isn't that much defended at this point. Like it's only Jinyar. Um, could potentially go for... I don't know when these when these guys can start attacking, I don't really remember that. I kind of want to, actually, I want to swap out Ugluck for another type of unit. He can reach this far. Now, let's see just who that... Yeah, let's just bring these guys uh, up here. We're going to swap Ugluck. I don't want him to be killed off by Brandon General Army. These guys will go back to Isengard for the training. Saruman will take up here. That will bring us even more money. You guys are headed here. Now we'll go for the mines. Even though this would definitely pay off. It will pay so much in just... Yeah, or actually one turn will give us... Yeah, it's actually worth going for the building around first, mathematically. So we're going to do that. They're besieging over there as well. Um, yeah, we'll have enough money next turn. Let's go for this one now. Oh yeah, that's not too long. That's good. What about here? One more turn. And then we'll get the probably practice range as well. We might actually want to get the ballista. We could probably just hold Gondor off at this bridge for a long time. And here, Great Hall. Uh, we're already having a lot of free upkeep here. I think we should go for these guys next. Yeah, let's do that. Right, let's end the turn. So that is the problem with a very aggressive start. Your um, settlements aren't properly built up because Rohan was wasn't really able to spend any of their money on such. Oh jeez, Lauren has taken Rockburg now. This might become deadly. Right. Let's send these guys into here. Ugluck, you go here. Actually, Ugluck, we need you on the western front now. I think we should just focus on the economy for a f couple few turns now. But we're making lots of money now, so it's it's kind of great. Uh, 29. Fahad Chat. You are 34 now. Yeah, and we can even build Vargs here, or recruit Vargs, that's nice. I am tempted. Yeah, we need more economy. This will probably give us... We'll actually give 1% more. It will give us 60. It will give you more devastation though. This is a huge city already though. But it will give more money. Let's see, could we race? Yeah, we could probably race it to normal actually. But what about grain exchange? Yeah, actually, this one is better. Let's get some ballistas built somewhere. Gujaku Dob is actually a perfect place. And yeah, we'll have enough money if we do Ballista Maker now, I think. Yeah, we'll have enough for the mines next turn. I will go for the garrison quarters after that. Alright, let's end the turn again. Now, the first settlement we're going to take is the one south of Jinyar. And Ugluck will lead the armies. We're just going to keep these uh, units in the forts for now. It was actually quite stupid that we sent them northwards and then retreated them back. Let's see, these guys inside here. These guys inside here. 
And now we are making a huge ass of money. Nice. Uh, let's uh, can we yeah they can only be retrained for experience. Um, I look who we're going up here. This guy will get free upkeep once we hit um, 33%. You will start, let's see, you only have 18. You will go for the slave pit. So once we hit uh, 33, actually we'll need this one first. But it will take a while. Probably should build something here instead. Let's some mines would be good, but they're not really good mines. How much does these mines to give? Same amount. Let's just go for a leather tan. Nah. So anything else we could go for instead? We're actually building in most places now. This is good. Um, I think I'm going to go for two grain exchanges instead. And we'll take a leather tanner here. And we can recruit some more units. Let's just have our forts filled up. Yeah. Okay, two more units. And we have space for a few more units here as well. Okay. And let's actually just retrain these guys. This episode is going to be a, around one hour long. I'll have to see how long I've been playing for now. All right, you're very loyal. Okay, Andros under attack. It might be the it might be the time to hit on Gondor. But on the other hand, if Lothlorien starts. Uh, Advancing on us now, that would be real bad. Once these settlements are built up properly, it will be a lot easier. Much only 19, yeah, we should definitely go for the temple here. Good luck is soon here. We'll have to take out this guy, we'll take Terwath. Ragnas is still up for the taking though, it looks really easy to take as well. Can't spend the money anywhere now, except here. Let's just get the yeah, but it will give more population, and we want to upgrade it. Let's do it like this, and over here, let's bring out some more units. Going to put these two units inside here. These guys should probably be swapped out with them. Um, see, with these guys, to make us some more money. Let's just check down here. Yeah, it's not a solid garrison. It's just taking out this army. They will easily take out this um, settlement as well. All right, we'll take them out next turn with Ugluck. These guys are probably quite useful for that purpose though. But we have what we need here. And I'm also going to take them there. And they will go here. Using a lot of archers is always wise. Okay, let's end the turn again. So it's simply just taking out Rand and doing some economy. And rather either go for Gondor or Lorraine and Casadun. However, we need 33% culture and it's a bit more difficult to pop out units in the north, especially when we can't really build
build or support with enemy units, so we'll just have to wait a bit. Uglukala, let's go for the mines now. Okay, Uglok. It's time. Let's just build a tower here. And you will go back here. All of them just went into the settlement, that's so stupid. Um, and you guys have to move. Uh, let's put them there. Let's bring these guys down here. And you guys will go here. And next turn we'll attack Kedervath. Let's uh, hope they will sally out, we should be able to make them do that. Saruman still just holding here. He will be able to go down there if necessary. And not very long till we can finally start recruiting units other places than Isengard. We could just pre build something. Uh, let's get the camp guard. This one's still building. Next time we do want to get. Perhaps the practice range we need arches as well. We can wait a bit with this place. Yeah, and it will still take some time. We're just going to make a load of money right now. The problem with going for Lauren now is that it takes so long to just get up there. That's the issue. However, if they decide to attack us now, we would be very vulnerable. As well as Gondor, if they both decide to attack us now, that won't be very well for us. But I think we should start um, getting more settlements in the west first. We could probably go for the end of the as well. Oh, the ring is in Dale. That's just too far away, sadly. But I do want to get it. Alright, you will just stand there. failed where did it finish with this was it no drive yeah and it's just auto building all right let's there oh it's actually Dunland which is taking out the settlement now but that that will just make them a buffer against any wife for us and I kind of want that actually I don't really want to attack any I think it's kind of boring Let's see here, we got three units of archers and a lot of strong melee units. But what do they got? They got a lot of trash. We we'll suddenly have to wait for these guys as well, I think. Or we could just start besieging them. It's mostly trash. Got Uglucks. We got a solid army. I think they will sally out and we'll take it instantly. That would be useful. Actually, they can't even attack. Just going to do this. Can still hold up. Okay. And we are just building stuff everywhere. It's fine. Alright. And yeah, you're doing for your stuff. Let's hope. Or we, we will get the other arm as well. I think we could just siege them out for now. Um. We'll see what will happen. <laughs> yes, Dunland took it. Excellent. Now they will be a buffer against Enerwife, and if Enerwife decides to attack Dunland, we can just join Dunland in a f common cause. Dervath, oh yeah, we were, we were with one of the best units possible. That's very nice. Let's see them out. Vahajat, Aldberg, Mordor is here. We can get them in not too long. I'm tempted to go for a slave all over here actually. Uh, but yeah, let's see though. Leather Tanner isn't too bad either. How long? 
Um, it's seven, eight, and seven. How many? Only two units. Yeah, let's get the slave hall actually. Mortar is doing quite all right. It looks like, and I don't remember what the last settlement. Uh, where did we finish other buildings? All right, I think it's fine. Yeah, we're probably just auto building in that settlement. Let's get more units. Actually, these guys were really good. Let's just finish again. We should probably end the episode soon. I haven't even checked how for how long this episode has been lasting now. We should move our spy out of Dunland's territory. Alright, so <laughs> I figure out we have actually been playing for a very long time now. So I am going to end the episode right now. Um, but uh, I will just um, finish this turn off. And we will indeed finish the episode. It has been an eventful episode. We took out Rohan. And <laughs> we barely escaped um, this army, Grimbold. Saruman was almost dead. That would have been a tragedy, no doubt. Let's just check up here. Lauren seems to be quite offensive, but we really want to have a nice army prepared for that cause. And we do want to get as many rebel settlements over here before we start pushing, I think. So, yeah, we are getting lots of units over here. Uh, we are going to assault this settlement, but I think we could just siege, siege them out and let this army just uh, keep on going actually for the other settlements. I see no reason to why not. Like, it's a lot of upkeep, but I think it is okay. At the moment, we earn so much money, and it's really units that we, we need. Um, so, yeah. Let's just, just double check. Next time we'll start recruiting units here actually. And here we will build Slay Pit. Fahajat will build us some grain exchange or perhaps a boar breeder is also a very good um, um building actually but i think we'll just go for yeah i'll have to wait but this one a bit this one is just building for long term let's see where did we actually build the we did build a ballista maker but we can't actually build a catapult maker that's kind of weird yeah a ballista will work as well actually it doesn't have too much upkeep either but I guess there's something that we haven't seen here. Let's see. Yeah, you need more than a keep to actually build catapults. That's stupid. Alright. That's my fault. Let's get wards going from here as well. The gin yard will finish and we'll get the slave pit. Asgard is just building for a long time. We'll have a spire down here. It's mostly this area that I'm worried about now. Gondor seems to be in trouble. We should probably, yeah, actually we're going to recruit a spy for that cause. But, oh yeah, we actually have all the spies we can. Because we could attack Gondor from two sides, both from this side and from this side. But um, it would be nice to neutralize Lauren in case they decide to attack us as well. And Castle Doom is a real moneymaker. So, you can give your opinion on... Whether you want me to attack Lothlorien and Casadum or Gondor. Or I guess I'm actually going to record a third episode soon. So um, I'll have to see about it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's been an enjoyable episode and we're our economy is finally strong now. And we're going to take out the West. So thank you guys for watching. Leave some feedback, ask questions and I will see you guys for the next episode.